Today we are going to study about collocations, compound words, and blended words. Now, the first, before we actually begin, why to learn them? Okay. Now, why learn collocations or compound words or blended words? Because your language will be more natural and you'll be, you know, more easily understood. You could actually express yourself in many different ways. Vocabulary increases, and nowadays spoken English is incomplete without the use of collocations or compound words or blended words. Even writing skill improves, you know, with the uh, uh, collocations or compound words. So the first amongst them is collocations. If you were to define collocations, they are actually a group of words that often go together or likely to go together. Okay. For example, if you say the fast train or the quick train. Now, quick train. Can I say quick train? No, this is wrong. The fast train. Fast train is a collocation. Fast food or quick food. We don't say quick food. We say fast food. So that is a collocation. A quick meal or a fast meal. Now here we'll say a quick meal rather than saying a fast meal. Or happily married, deeply rooted, heavy traffic. Other examples could be stray dog, a light drizzle, short term goal, etc. Now these are the examples of collocations which are widely used nowadays. When two or more words join together to form a new word, okay, they are called as compound words. But the new word that has so formed has altogether different meaning. For example, if I say butter plus fly, then it's going to be butterfly. Now, butterfly has completely different meaning. Okay, it has nothing to do with butter or fly. So, other examples could be now sometimes if you see compound words, then sometimes they are written together. For example, if I say grand plus father, then the compound word so formed is grandfather is written together. Sometimes compound words can be written separately. For example, school plus bus, then it is called as school bus. School bus is also a compound word. Sometimes compound words are written with a hyphen in between them. For example, well plus known is called as well known. Okay, so well known is also a compound word but written with a hyphen in between them. Other examples could be living room, merry-go-round, newspaper, postcard, rainbow, sunglasses, video game, workbook, worksheet, etc. Okay, blended words or blend words. Now, these are really becoming a part of everyday's conversations. You can say they are trending because they are made by combining two words and these two words are shortened and then compounded. For example, now how they are compound, like if you see smoke plus fog, now the initial letters of the first word are taken and the last letter of the second word is taken. Smoke plus fog is resulting into smog. So smog means smoke plus fog. Now another one which is trending motor plus hotel is motel. Okay. Breakfast plus lunch is called as brunch. Europe plus Asia is called as Eurasia. Chill plus relax is chillax. Other examples could be spoon plus fork is spork. Okay, web plus log is blog. So these are the examples of blended words. Hope